Largely rebuilt after a devastating earthquake in 1755, Lisbon is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful European capitals today. I started my city excursion on the MS Opera along the River Tagus. It's an ideal way to explore the area as it gives you a panoramic view and idea of the layout of Lisbon, known as Lisboa locally. First you view the Cristo Rey statue, inspired by the famous Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro. Then you get close to the 25th of April Bridge, connecting Lisbon city centre with the Amalda district. Designed by the same company responsible for San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge, the similarity to their iconic structure is obvious. Originally called the Salazar Bridge, its name changed in 1975 after the dictator it was named after was overthrown in the military coup on that date. Next you pass the Electricity Museum in the beautiful old Tejo Power Station, hosting a cultural centre and a history of energy, science and industrial architecture. The Monument of the Discoveries in the Bellum District is one of the best known landmarks in the city. It is located at the spot where great Portuguese explorers like Vasco da Gama set sail to explore the New World. Further down the river is the 16th century Bellum Tower a fortification built by King John II as part of the Tagus Mouth defence system. Originally built on an island, land reclamation means it is now on the bank of the river. The cruise then sails back and passes landmarks in the distance. These include St George's Castle, Craco do Comercio and the Cathedral providing an opportunity to view the pastel and white buildings and orange rooftops. You also get to see where the cruise ships berth close to the city centre before returning to the dock. The next stop after a short coach ride is at the magnificent Park Eduardo VII, a two hectare garden paying homage to the British King who visited in 1902 to improve relations between the two countries. The remnants of a demolished statue of Salazar rest in the fountains. Returning to the centre of town, a visit to Praco de Rosso, which dates back to the Middle Ages, is a must. The large square is at the site of the Teatro Nacionale and a column paying homage to King Pedro IV, King of Portugal. A short walk away along black and white tiled roads, wide streets and through the main shopping area is the majestic Rua Augusta Arch. This rests near the vast Praco do Comercio Square, sometimes called the Black Horse or Palace Square. It was created after the 1755 earthquake destroyed the Royal Ribeira Palace. During the Inquisition, it was the site of celebrations and also terrible torture. Take time to stroll along the banks of the Tagus at the site of the ancient Roman port. Lisbon, a beautiful and memorable city.